Oh, by the way, if you wondered whether I, uh, why I don't use any catchy thumbnails, it's first and foremost because um, I'm lazy. Let's be real here. Uh, and the second one is um, kind of the backup of why I'm lazy. <laughs> no, I, I actually thought about it and um, I felt there was something iffy in creating catching thumbnails. So my thinking about it is YouTube is basically um, an attention a platform to kind of guide and steer your attention and if you have a YouTube um, how do you say like the the page where you get all ah, the recommended um, if you have a YouTube recommended page where it's all catchy thumbnails they are all kind of tingling and triggering your um, your instinctual um, behaviors and patterns to get you to click on it and what this creates in a sense is a hyper stimulus for you to look at this page and get like all catchy thumbnails uh, beautiful uh, women and people and cars and shocking emotions and surprise and all of that you know and also, you kind of have this idea of the videos that are um, recommended together on one page, they are competing against each other. And I don't want to compete with other creators. It's funny, they call themselves creators, but they all compete in getting your attention. So there's something iffy there, and that's why I don't uh, create thumbnails. Yeah. That's it. Um, click here for a video with a catchy thumbnail.